Not all ambulances, fire trucks, or even police cars are made equal. Depending on the situation, emergency service vehicles may need to tackle impossibly tough terrain, adapt to dangerous conditions, or even reach breakneck speeds to save the day. So it's time to strap in as we take a look to some of the most incredible emergency service vehicles in the world. The Super Ambulance Japan is home to a variety of eclectic and innovative vehicles, but none can contest with the sheer size of their Super Ambulance. This brilliant behemoth is a modified heavy-duty vehicle which has been transformed into one colossal ambulance. Driving down the street, you might mistake it for any other truck, but when it's parked up, it really spreads its wings, literally. Both the left and right sections of the main body expand out by 6.5 feet, giving it 430 square feet of usable floor space. That's about three times the truck's original size, and it puts every inch to good use. The added space turns the truck into an emergency first aid facility, which can be dispatched to accidents or disaster sites with multiple casualties. An astounding eight separate beds can fold out of the walls when it's fully extended, giving medics plenty of room to work. I don't know about you, but I feel better just looking at this thing. But do you know what'll really make you feel better? Hitting those like and subscribe buttons down below. I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure subscribing to my channel will help solve all your problems. I promise you won't find a better cure to all the gaps in your knowledge than you will right here. So without further ado, let's take a look at even more excellent emergency service vehicles. The World's Biggest Fire Engine when you think of the world's biggest fire engine, you might imagine a huge red vehicle with lots of flashing lights and ladders. But the only ladder you'll find here are the 12 steps leading to the upper deck of this humongous Boeing 747-446 global supertanker. This awe-inducing plane is based in Colorado Springs and is used routinely to help put out massive wildfires that threaten to tear across the surrounding areas. But why use a plane to fight the fire instead of a truck? Well, for a start, the 231-foot supertanker can carry a colossal 19,200 gallons of extinguishing agent. That's over 15,000 gallons more than the largest fire truck in the world. Not only that, but its state-of-the-art delivery systems use compressed air to force the extinguishing agent out of the four valves on either side of the plane while flying at a height of just 400 feet. This means the crew can adjust their height, speed, and delivery rate to ensure they extinguish the fire without the impact of the extinguishing agent damaging the area further. On top of that, they can control the delivery in a series of segmented drops or in one continuous drop up to 3 miles long. With a top speed of 600 miles per hour, this Colorado-based vehicle can fly anywhere in the US in just 3 hours and anywhere else globally in 20. Now that's one super fast super soaker, uh, sorry, super tanker. The Oversnow Ambulances Winter in Yellowstone is a pretty chilly season, with the American National Park receiving over 10 inches of snow on average every year. But what if a visitor were to accidentally hurt themselves and get trapped in all that snow? I mean, ambulances aren't usually equipped to deal with roads piled with that much snow, and the injured tourist might not have time to wait for a snowplow. Fortunately, Yellowstone ambulances can be equipped with oversnow capabilities. Since at least 1992, these ambulances have used a series of snow tracks and guiding skis. Unlike regular tires, these continuous tracks give the ambulance more grip on soft ground while spreading the weight of the vehicle out evenly. With this improved traction, these ambulances can climb steep slippery roadways and even go off-road if necessary. Over the years, these trusty tracks have been adapted to fit more modern emergency vehicles, enabling them to use their four-wheel drives for an even safer ride over the snow. The weather may be cold, but these modifications are much cooler. The BMW Isetta 
Now, clearly, being bigger is better for some emergency service vehicles, but one of the most iconic police cars in history proves it's not about size but how you use it. At just over 7 feet long and a little over 4 feet high, the itty-bitty body of the Isetta resembles something more like a front-opening egg than a vehicle. Originally, this adorable microcar was designed to easily maneuver around the narrow, crowded streets of Italy back in 1953. But the compact design grabbed the attention of BMW, who, in 1961, began building them specifically for police use. For the German Derdestadt police force, this rolling eggmobile was given a lick of official green paint, a little flashing blue light, and even a radio telephone. Now, seeing how small it is with a measly 13-brake horsepower engine, many people assumed there was no way it would ever catch up with the criminals. But at just over 700 pounds with 10-inch wheels, it was deceptively speedy and could reach up to 52.8 miles per hour. It may not sound like a lot on a highway, but down a narrow side street, it was a formidably fast force. Guess that makes up for its lack of legroom. The Search and Rescue Super Jeeps Iceland is renowned for its beautiful highlands and risky glaciers, the latter of which make up 10% of the island's interior. But it's also known for weather that can turn at the drop of a hat, leaving many stranded in over a foot of snow that can fall in just a few hours. So, how did the Icelandic search and rescue team get to lost sightseers in such treacherous conditions? The answer comes in the form of some seriously cool super jeeps. These are off-road 4x4 vehicles that have been modified to support truly huge tires measuring up to 52 inches. They're so large that they make quick work crossing small rivers and waterways, but they're not just for wading about in the shallows. When the pressure in the tires is reduced, they get slightly softer and can grip down on both deep snow and glacial ice with ease. Quickly letting air out of the tires means that the teams don't waste time changing tires or adding on snow chains so they can get to searching that much faster. The Super Jeeps are so invaluable that Iceland has a fleet of around 200 of these mini monster trucks ready to go at a moment's notice. So if you ever find yourself stuck on Iceland's highlands, keep a lookout for the balloon tire truck undoubtedly heading your way. The Morecambe Bay Sherps In northwest England sits the idyllic-looking Morecambe Bay, an estuary that flows over a series of mudflats which disappear and reappear depending on the tides. But while this gorgeous English scenery attracts many walkers, most are unaware that the mudflats can turn into unpredictable minefields of quicksand. This means unsuspecting visitors can suddenly find themselves hopelessly stuck in the sand with a high tide fast approaching. It's this treacherous terrain, which clearly isn't car friendly, that led the Morecambe Bay search and rescue team to procure one of these brilliant beasts. Say hello to the Sherp N1200, an all-terrain vehicle that's been designed to conquer just about anything in its path. With extra low pressure 71 inch tires, this 2,645 pound vehicle measures in at just 13 feet in length. This means its weight can be even more equally distributed than vehicles like the Super Jeeps, making it perfect to send out over quicksand. Not only that, but this tiny tank can also conquer steep inclines of up to 35 degrees and easily clambers over objects that are over 3 feet high. To make it even more perfect for the Morecambe Bay team, it's also amphibious, though it can only tackle high tides at a steady 3.7 miles per hour. But the teams won't need to adjust their tires every time they change terrain, because Sherps have an inbuilt circulation system that change the pressure levels of the tires in seconds. As indestructible as they seem, I don't think the rescue team will be too reckless with their unit, seeing as just one cost a staggering 60 thousand pounds, roughly $81,000. That may sound expensive for such a tiny truck, but they do say the best things come in small packages. Heglund BV-206 
Sherps aren't the only vehicle aiding Morecambe's struggle against quicksand. They're also the proud owners of a Heglund BV206. It may look like a couple of baby tanks lashed together, but the Heglund has proven to be one of the most versatile emergency vehicles over the years. It was first developed back in the 1970s as the Bandwagen 206 and was designed to be a tracked all-terrain carrier for the Swedish Army. The two units consisted of four powered tracks, effectively giving it 4x4 drive capability. Not only that, but its full-length tracks combined with its lightweight body means it can achieve an incredibly low ground pressure. This allows it to effortlessly clamber over tough terrain, and it can also propel itself through water using its tracks, able to carry a total of 17 people with a maximum cargo weight of 4,940 pounds. This impressive little machine soon gained the attention of many other countries. But not just for military purposes, the small unit support vehicle found uses carrying equipment for search and rescue units, medical deployments, and even fire departments around the world. Its amphibious nature means it's also a firm favorite of lifeboat services, as it can drag lightweight boats from the water without having to race against the tide. Water Relief The Moag Eagles when it comes to military matters, ambulances need to be as mobile and tactile as possible because their injured could be in extremely dangerous areas like battlefields or disaster zones. As such, Swiss manufacturers Moag had designed a tactical light vehicle that's also a badass looking ambulance. This is the Eagle 6x6 a military ambulance that's over 22 feet long, 7 feet wide, and 7.5 feet high. With a curb weight of almost 17,000 pounds, it's only a little less heavy than a small American fire truck, and even with all that weight, it still has a respectable top speed of 68 miles per hour. But these things were built for durability, not speed, so that it stands a fighting chance of reaching safety through minefields and explosive terrain its protective armoring is built to withstand a 6-kilogram explosion. For perspective, a 1-kilogram TNT explosion is enough to blast straight through a slab of concrete. While armoring like this is invaluable, Germany's Ambulance Corps recently purchased 80 vehicles for a staggering $159 million. That's nearly $2 million each. But I guess you really can't put a price on keeping people alive. The Aptoros Shaman You may think the Eagle 6x6 is the most badass ambulance on the planet, but that's because you haven't seen Russia's 8x8 beast of an ambulance, the Aptoros Shaman. At more than 20 feet long, 8 feet wide, and nearly 9 feet high, it has enough room to fit 4 medical staff and 2 patients inside. Along with those eight massive, low-pressure tires, this amazing ambulance is perfect for getting to people in hard-to-reach places. And that's pretty important, considering Russia's landscape varies from frozen desert and coastlines to tall mountains and giant marshes, though it won't be traversing them quickly, because its near 10,600-pound curb weight drags its top speed down to just 44 miles per hour. Though, when it's faced with water, it doesn't come to a full stop. Being an all-terrain vehicle, it can tackle rivers or lakes at a steady 4.3 miles per hour. But being rescued by this beast doesn't come cheap. The price of a single shaman starts at just over 183,000 euros, which is almost $225,000. That's nearly the same price as a brand new Lamborghini Huracan. But between the two, I definitely prefer being rescued from the Russian wilderness by the shaman, unless there's a secret 8x8 Lamborghini I don't know about. The Walking Car When car manufacturer Hyundai began thinking about the challenges rough terrain poses for first responders, they started to reimagine basic vehicle design from the ground up, or wheels up to be more precise. In 2019, the company shared their prototype Project Elevate with the world, but everyone thought the company had gone completely bonkers. 
This walking car concept relies on a series of hip, knee, and ankle joints built into the car's wheels which extend like legs with the touch of a button. Like a Boston Dynamics robot merged with a Pokemon, this weird walker would, in theory, be able to climb steps, lift itself over water, and even jump over gaps. Odd as it looks, hypothetically, this would be perfect for first responders who need to get to injured people in hard-to-reach areas like caves or forests. But I think the real question that everyone is asking right now is could it hoist itself up and walk over traffic jams? If that answer were yes, Hyundai could take all my money. The Spherical Vehicle When you imagine an anti-riot vehicle, what immediately comes to mind? It's probably something like a big, boxy steel structure with metal grates over the windows, right? Well, back in 2014, China brought a more… Uh, futuristic design to the table. This bizarrely globular little car is the Zijing Qingwan Armored Spherical Cabin Electric Patrol Vehicle. It was developed specifically for anti-riot work by police forces, with its most unusual feature, the spherical cabin, allowing policemen a secure 360-degree view of their surroundings. Despite all that glass, the car warrants a surprisingly high Chinese Level A armor rating, meaning it can resist several shots from any nearby handguns. But as clunky and unaerodynamic as all that armoring looks, it can reach a respectable 50 miles per hour. Modifications can also be made to the brilliantly bizarre exterior, with room for smoke grenade launchers behind its front indicators. Sadly, or not, depending on how you look at it, these cars have never been spotted out in the open and remain a pure prototype fantasy. It could be because, for all its windows, the car has just one set of windshield wipers, making it a little useless in bad weather. Officers could also reportedly fire their guns out of a hole in one of the windows, which would only be useful if the car was facing in the right direction. While it wasn't a popular choice back in 2014, I'm sure it'll come in handy if police ever need to start checking the skies for rioters. The Miami PD Slingshot While most emergency vehicles rely on four wheels, Miami PD, surprisingly, have one with just three. Back in 2018, Polaris Industries donated one of their trademark slingshots to the police department, complete with all their colors and livery. Weighing almost 1,750 pounds, it produces 173 horsepower, and with a 5-speed manual transmission, the slingshot is just as fast as it looks. It can achieve 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds with a swift top speed of 130 miles per hour. Usually, trikes like this pose a threat of rolling if they take a corner too fast, due to the inherent instability of their three-wheel design. But the slingshot has a front track of 69.1 inches, making it wider than the sturdy Chevrolet Corvette Z06. It reduces the risk of rolling even further with an oversized anti-roll bar, so no matter how hard it takes a corner, it'll keep all three of its wheels firmly on the ground. But for all these amazing assets, the terrific little trike isn't taking down speeders on the South Beach. Instead, Miami PD use it for their community outreach programs. They roll the incredibly cool vehicle into local communities to help break the ice, doing things like helping welcome children back to school. Kids in these communities are invited to sit in the car, press all the buttons, and get to know their local police department a little better. Do you think they'd let an adult sit in? I'm uh, asking for a friend. The RoboQ Firefighters, police officers, and other emergency service personnel often risk their own lives to help people in disaster-struck areas. But this doesn't always have to be the case, thanks to Tokyo Fire Department's fully robotic rescue vehicle, the RoboQ. This bizarre little red block was originally designed to help rescue victims in dangerous areas like bomb sites or areas with hidden mines. But the infrared cameras and ultrasound technology it uses means it's perfect for locating people trapped under debris who might not be able to call out for help. After events like earthquakes, which Japan is famously prone to, the RoboQ can be used to explore dangerous sites like damaged buildings and bridges. Once victims are located, the robot can be piloted remotely to their side, 
There, the RoboQ uses its conveyor belt and pincer-like arms to gently pull the person into its shielded metal body and carry them to safety, and all without any risk to the rescue personnel involved. This ingenious design was inspired after the events of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster. Deadly radiation events like this pose huge problems to emergency crews, who risk exposing themselves to fatal doses of radiation to rescue survivors. Fortunately, robots like RoboQ can be modified to withstand radiation, meaning they can be used to save lives without risking any more. The Aerial PL-1 Now, common police cars in the UK don't tend to stand out all that much. Sure, they have that fancy yellow and blue paint job, but many are based on run-of-the-mill Vauxhall Astras, Vauxhall Insignias, or BMW 5s. But there's one that really stands out from the pack, the Aerial Atom 3.5R, also known as Aerial PL-1. Back in 2014, the Avon and Somerset Constabulary drafted this nifty little vehicle into their ranks to help tackle the region's escalating problem with motorcyclists. Avon and Somerset's scenic roads attract bikers in droves over the summer months, but carelessly speeding along them can lead to horrific accidents. Between 2005 and 2013, the region witnessed a shocking average of 143 motorcyclists per year seriously or fatally injured on the roads. So, the police decided to make speeding less enticing by bringing in an aerial PL-1. With a 350 brake horsepower engine, it could propel itself from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.6 seconds making it one of the fastest accelerating cars in the world. Not only that, but it could also hit 100 miles per hour in a mere 6 seconds. These were the stats that gave even the most experienced bikers a run for their money. But sadly, the Aerial PL-1 wasn't actually used to catch speedsters. It served as part of the police's Safer Rider campaign, simply aimed at making bikers think twice about zipping across the countryside. And it worked. From 2014 to 2018, that average of 143 serious and fatal injuries dropped to just 96. Seems like the only things that can convince these bikers to slow down isn't the risk of a deadly accident, but of getting caught. The World's Fastest Fleet Dubai is well known for being a city of excess and luxury, but even in this playground of the rich, there are strict rules. And should any rich kid try to scoot away from them in a supercar, thinking they could make an easy escape, they'd be wrong. Because the Dubai police force don't just have fast cars, they have an entire fleet of some of the quickest cars ever produced. This includes a speed-modified Lamborghini Aventador, which can launch from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. There's also a mouth-watering Maserati Gran Turismo, which has a staggering top speed of 186.4 miles per hour. But the crowning jewel of their fine fleet is arguably the Bugatti Veyron. This supercar has a 1200 horsepower engine, which propels it like a rocket to a top speed of 253 miles per hour. Ugh, I've never wanted to be arrested so much in my life. All up, the 18 cars that make up this super fleet are estimated to be worth more than a whopping $24 million. But the Dubai police aren't done adding to their collection yet. They announced in 2019 that they have plans to purchase one of Tesla's now famous Cybertrucks. Although, they can only hope that Tesla will have fixed their, uh, <laughs> bulletproof windows by then. Oh my, maybe that was a little too hard. Beast Patrol Now, Dubai's police force doesn't just have the most incredibly fast supercars in their fleet. They also own one of the most advanced police patrol vehicles in the world. And it's got an incredible name to match. Say hello to the Beast Patrol SUV, also known as the Giath. This luxury hypercar is equipped with artificial intelligence systems, a touchscreen dashboard, as well as automatic number plate recognition. But it's its facial recognition technology that really puts this SUV above the rest. 
Using a retractable camera in its roof, the tech can recognize wanted criminals from afar or even in crowded spaces. It also boasts state-of-the-art communication systems that are linked directly to the police force's command operation room, meaning they're never out of the loop. Almost no other specifications about the Giath have been officially disclosed, but from its brutish appearance alone, I don't think any criminal would dare to mess with it. The Flying Scorpion Another weapon in Dubai's seemingly endless armada of mind-blowing police vehicles comes in a slightly different form. With four whirling blades instead of wheels, the S3 2019 hoverbike isn't designed to travel across roads, but over them. The unique design of this hoverbike also includes a pilot seat and joystick controls, making it look like a bizarre love child of a drone, a motorbike, and a gaming console. With a single-frame carbon fiber body, the entire weight of this thing reaches just 253 pounds, and thanks to its three-bladed carbon propellers, it can achieve a monumental 802 pounds of thrust allowing it to achieve liftoff even with someone on board. But as cool as it looks, there are a few drawbacks. For an eye-watering $150,000, this bike can only fly for 10 to 25 minutes with a pilot on board, or just 40 minutes as a drone. On top of that, it's limited by law to have a maximum speed of just 60 miles per hour, meaning it won't be involved in any sky-high speed chases anytime soon although I reckon it'll be incredibly useful for rescuing cats stuck up trees. Which of these incredible vehicles would you most want to be rescued by? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching!